Hey, good to be back. In our chess shorts today, a few simple guidelines for white to accommodate the Grunfeld defense by black. It starts like the Indian defense, d4, knight to f6, c4, g6. However, after knight to c3, black answers with d5. Now, there are a few variations from here, however, we will now cover the most common one, which is the exchange variation. Pawn takes d5, knight takes back, e4, knight takes knight, and pawn takes back. It looks much better for white, right? Nice pawn structure at the center. Where is the catch? But be careful, black is planning to break this structure, and if white isn't well prepared, he or she will become defensive which is not recommended, especially on rapid games and when you are not a professional player. So, what is black's goal now? You can see, right? A pressure from all sides on both d4 and c3, which is a hanging pawn. First, bishop to g7. White usually develop with either knight to f3, bishop to c4, or bishop to e3. In all cases, black will always go c5 and starts the pressure. So white is now focusing on protecting d4, for example, knight to f3. Black will keep pushing, queen to a5, now attacking the hanging pawn on c3 and threatening the pawn on a2 if white rook will come for help. There are no good moves for white except for queen to d2 protecting both pawns. From here, black has many options to keep the momentum. He or she can quick castle and bring rook to pin white queen, or push bishop to g4, or knight to c3 to c6. At the end, White will have to give up on something, but what is more important, again, White is in defensive mode, late to develop and late to castle. Now, assuming you don't want to be in this position, you have a few options. First, you can learn and memorize all the main lines from here. All these main lines were played millions of times, so just memorize how to answer. Or you can find a variation which is less played, like bishop to a3, to try to surprise your opponent and destroy black c5, which will give you some time to develop while protecting your superior center structure. Oh, and don't be tempted for e5, okay? It will only make it easy for black to ruin your center. Never do that. Lastly, going back, 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 you can decide not to play the exchange variation at all, and after d5, you can either go with knight to f3, which is the three knights variation, or bishop to f4, which is the, the brickman attack, or queen to b3, which is the Russian variation, and many more options. Each of them deserve another episode in our chess shorts opening guide for non-professional player. Even though this defense was played before, it's called after Ernst Grunfeld, who played it in Vienna when defeating the future world champion Alexander Alekhin in 1922. It is an example of the hypermodern chess which focuses on destroying your opponent's center before building your own. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed another Chess Shorts episodes by Mina.com, Creativity Through Chess. If you like to get notified on the next episodes, like us on Facebook and visit our site. Also, go check our Amazon store for our unique chess sets, major discount coupons available on our site.